Hello, it's Ryan back for yet another review. Um, it's a beautiful day outside, so what better way to spend it than stay indoors and do a review for YouTube? Hehe, <laughs> I'm only joking. It's good to be back, had a few days off. Anyways, today I am reviewing the Cult Classic Series 3 Terminator 2 Judgment Day T-800 Exoskeleton, which features a machine gun and future war base. Yeah. Try saying that when you're pissed. Anyways, as you can see, nice box, display, very, very good, gives you all, well, gives you all the info what it comes with. There's a machine gun, little extra hand so you can actually hold that machine gun. And at the back there you can sort of see the really cool base that comes with this figure. Anyways, on the back, this gives you sort of all the legal stuff and then some information on the figure. Right, if you want to read that, just pause it. Fantastic. Right. Now, this here was a pickup from Forbidden Planet. Um, would you, no, not Forbidden Planet, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, from Cash Converters, actually. Six pounds. Six pounds it was brand new in its box. Like, can't do better than that. Um, I've been meaning to review this for quite a while, actually, because I've had it for quite a while. Anyways, I will crack this open and let's see what it's made of. Well, here he is out of his box, and as you can see, the detail on this thing is quite bloody cool. Look at all the little details on that. Got all the pipes and articulation on this figure of all the little pivots and things. Oh, there we go. Come on, zoom. There we go. Look at all the little pivots on the legs. Um, compared to some of the other um, Terminator action figures, articulation on this thing is actually pretty good. You can even make it do a dance. Cha 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 cha. Cha, 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 cha. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways, uh, I will show you what he looks like on the base. Now, this here is one of the coolest things about the figure. Oh, he's going to do the split, so. This really, really cool detailed base. Obviously, got the um, famous sort of skull sort of scenery from what we've obviously seen from T1 and T2. Which, oh, it's class. And you got a little child's bicycle there. And just... Just look at the detail on that, it's fun, bloody tastic. Right. It's great. Anyways, I will say one thing about this figure. One of the first complaints is I will get him onto this base, but uh right. Now obviously I've had this figure for a couple of months, so I've ha so I've had it on out in display and things. Now, he looks well there at the minute, but he does have a very, very, very bad habit of falling over. Um, but anyways, I'll move on to the really annoying thing about this figure. Now, I don't get me wrong, I love it to pieces, but there's just one really annoying feature about it, I'm just getting the back out of its box, is this hand, right? Now, obviously you can't see, where's this little thumb? Aye, there's this thumb. Anyways, this here basically goes on there, and you basically have to muck about with it to get to make him hold the machine gun, you just take that off. Come on! Obviously I don't want to break this, it seems to be a bit of a nightmare. There we... Yeah. Anyways. Uh, now, I will put on this here hand. Now, it is a bit annoying to do, because you're going to see why in a minute. Now, this might run on for a while, because it does get quite bloody frustrating. Um, now, obviously I'll get this gun. Obviously the gun, it's really cool. Obviously what we're used to seeing, the Terminator's hold. Now, get that in there. See, it looks okay like that, see? But then it's obviously gonna be all lopsided and shit. Now, this is the tricky part. Getting this thumb on the here, so it means the gun won't fall. Obviously, now you're seeing where I'm trying to get that into, it's bloody hard. Uh, it's really, really tricky. Uh, ah, frig. You know what, I'm going to pause the video and actually show you. I've just shown you how difficult this is. Right, hold on. Okay, I got it on at last. It took way longer than what it should have done. Anyways, um, what I think of this figure, I love it. It looks fan bloody tastic and you can see next to the rest of sort of like the NECA figures. Like, there's my uh, T2... Uh, Cyber Dino Assault Arnie. It looks really cool, and then obviously bits and he just looks well next to any sort of Terminator figure, and I would recommend it to any Terminator collector, because um, that's why I got them. 
But I do have some complaints. Now, obviously, for as far as kids go wanting this, no. Nope. This here, just, oh, no. It's going to get lost. It's a freaking nightmare. That's if I know, like, even people who are not sure to take it out of the box or not, you know what, maybe you shouldn't even bother. It's just the fact is, I really like having things out in display, that's why I like taking it out, but it falls over a lot, and every time it does fall over, this always, the thumb always comes loose, and that falls off, and then you don't know where it is. Um, any other complaints? Um, obviously, I love the stand, but obviously, I'll just say again, it does fall over quite a lot. It's a bit annoying. Um, one little nitpicky thing I will say, um, is on this particular figure, I wish the eyes were lit up. Obviously, in some of the later figures, you sort of, this, this here is sort of like a button, you sort of push it in to the torso, and then it obviously makes the eyes light up. I think on this particular figure, they should have went for it, but that's me just being sort of nitpicky. As I said, there's a lot I do love about it, it's really, really detailed. The base is fantastic, it stays true to the films, like, you look at this and just be like, oh my god, this is like so freaking cool, this is like the flipping Judgment Day, it's so cool. But yeah, I would recommend it, it has its faults, like a lot of things, but yeah, I would still recommend it. Um, well, anyways, I'm going to leave it at that anyway, I just wanted to come back and just do this real quickly. Um, anyways, well, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, if I can get my words out today. Um, and thanks again for very, thank you very much again for watching. Cheerio, bye bye.